Download dedicated Pharmacy India app for complete details. Link is given in the description. They provide online test series for competitive exams related to pharmacy like GPAT, Drugs Inspector, Niper, Previous Year Question Papers, Pharmacist and all. Download dedicated Pharmacy India app. Hello students, so welcome to the channel. So today in this video we are going to discuss about the autonomic nervous system questions. So here we have a first question is that cholinomimetics are not used in and the options are option A is glaucoma, option B is myasthenia gravis, option C is postoperative atony, option D is partial heart block. So cholinomimetics are not used in and the correct answer is partial heart block. So let's discuss with the help of explanation. Here the cholinergic drugs decrease the conduction from atrium to ventricle so thus should be avoided in partial heart block. Next point is that cholinergic drugs like pilocarpin, physostigmine are used in angle closer glaucoma. Students sometimes the question may also ask that which is the cholinergic drug? So these are the cholinergic drugs. Pilocarpin or physostigmine. You can also learn from this. Next point is neostigmine. Neostigmine is a acetylone, acetyl cholinesterase inhibitor, a cholinergic drug used for the treatment of myasthenia gravis. And fourth point is neostigmine is also used for post-operative paralytic ileus and post-operative urinary retention so now coming on the next question that correct match of drug and mechanism of action that there will be a drug and their mechanism of action so these are the options option is brimonidine decrease aqueous production lantoprotose is a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor pilocarpin increase uvosacrial outflow and bitoxolol increase trabecular outflow so which one is the correct so the correct answer is the brimonidine is decrease aqueous production now let's discuss with the help of explanation here that drug and their mechanism of action in glaucoma let's discuss that the apraclonidine and brimonidine stimulate post synaptic alpha 2 receptor students the question may also ask that which receptor will be stimulate of this action so your answer is alpha 2 receptor and what it results the result is decreased in aqueous production next point is lentoprotose lentoprost that it increase uvosacrial outflow and myotics that is pilocarpin pilocarpin is a myotics and it increase trabecular outflow now coming on the fourth point that is beta blocker that is timolol bitoxolol it decrease aqueous production now coming on the next point that is carbonic anhydrase inhibitor that is acetazolamide decrease aqueous decrease aqueous secretion so this is all about this question now moving on the next question a patient presents to emergency with the pinpoint pupil slivation lacrimation tremors and red tears and plasma cholinesterase level was about 30% of normal and most probable diagnosis is so options are option A is that it is organophosphate poisoning or datura poisoning or it is opioid poisoning or it is point in hemorrhage so it is a condition given so we have to find out with the help of these adverse effects so these adverse effects 
relates to the organophosphate poisoning so students your uh, first uh, confusion is there that just clear this point that this is the adverse effects of the pinpoint uh, organophosphate poisoning that is pinpoint pupil salivation lacrimation tremors and red tears are the symptoms or adverse effect of uh, symptoms of the organophosphate poisoning now let's discuss with the help of explanation that as i already tell you that these are the characteristics features of anticholinesterase that is organophosphate or carbamate poisoning so first one is that muscarinic symptoms these are the muscarinic symptoms first one is pinpoint pupil second is salivation lacrimation urination defection gastrointestinal distress vomiting and bronchospasm and bradycardia these are the muscarinic symptoms and next point is nicotinic symptoms that is fasci pulsations and fibrillations of muscles tachycardia and tachypnea third one is cns symptoms tremors giddiness ataxia and coma in red tears the reason is that due to accumulation of porphyrin in the lacrimal glands so students i hope that this question is clear to you now moving on the next question that all of the following agents are used in glaucoma treatment except and the options are option a is apraclonidine option b is timolol option c is pilocarpin option d is metoprolol so all of the following agents are used in glaucoma treatment which will which will not used so the correct answer is metoprolol let's discuss with the help of explanation that metoprolol is a beta blocker with local anesthetic activity and such beta blockers are not indicated in glaucoma where apraclonidine is a alpha 2 agonist timolol is beta 2 blocker without local anesthetic activity and pilocarpin is a directly acting myotic which is used in glaucoma now coming on the next question that mechanism of action of pralidoxime is and the options are option a that it stimulates acetylcholinesterase receptors inhibition of breakdown of ach blockade of ach receptors reactivation of a ach e enzyme and the correct answer is that it reactivate uh, it leads to the reactivation of ach e enzyme let's discuss with the help of this explanation that pralidoxim and diacetyl monoxime are cholinesterase degenerator compounds used for organophosphate poisoning students just connect with the previous one that organos you know about the organophosphate poisoning symptoms so which uh, which drug we will use in that that is pralidoxim diacetyl monoxime and the class of these drugs is cholinesterase degenerator now the next question is the diagnosis of myasthenia gravis is done by using and the options are option a is adrophonium option b is neostigmine option c is succinylcholine option d is atropine so the correct answer is that adrophonium is used for the diagnosis of myasthenia gravis let's discuss with the help of explanation here that myasthenia gravis can be differentiated from cholinergic crisis with the help of a short acting anticholinesterase agent that is adrophonium and it improves the symptoms in myasthenia gravis whereas worsens the condition in cases of cholinergic crisis neostigmine is used for the treatment of myasthenia so st students i hope that this point will be clear now now next question is drug of choice for treatment of acute organophosphate poisoning is and the options are option a is atropine option b is pralidoxime option c is neostigmine option d is tubocrine student in this question 
the question uh, the drug of choice is ask for treatment of acute organophosphate poisoning so don't uh, so don't confuse that if there is a pralidoxin then we will take the pralidoxin no there will be another answer also so the correct answer is is atropine that it atropine is a drug of choice for treatment of acute organophosphate poisoning okay now next question is all are cholinergic agents except and the options are option A is galantamine, option B is dunpazil, option C is tecrine, or option D is memantine. So, all are cholinergic agents except so one one is not cholinergic agent. So the correct answer is the memantine. Memantine is not a cholinergic agent. So here we have explanation that dunpazil, reverse stigmine, galantamine, and tecrine are the cholinergic drugs used for, for Alzheimer disease so students what they does that they inhibit the cholinesterase enzyme the students sometimes the question may also ask that which are the drugs used in the Alzheimer disease so these are the four drugs Dunpazil, Rivastigmine, Galantamine and Tacrine and where Memantine is a NMDA block used for the Alzheimer disease. Memantine is a NMDA blocker student where Dunpazil, Rivastigmine, Galantamine are the uh, are the cholinergic drugs. Now next question is pinpoint, pinpoint pupil suggest poisoning with option A is DDT, option B is opiates, option C is belladonna, option D is barbiturate. So the correct answer is opiates. Here we have a explanation that causes of pinpoint pupil is opiate poisoning, organophosphate poisoning, carbamate poisoning, carbolic acid poisoning and pointine hemorrhage. So the causes of pinpoint pupil is are those these fives. Okay. Now coming on the next question, the short acting anticholinestry drug is option is adrophonium. Option B is Demicarium, Option C is Diflos, Option D is Ecothiophate. So the correct answer is the Adrophonium. Adrophonium is the short acting. So student, this is all about this video. I hope you like this video. So please hit the bell icon and subscribe our channel for getting more updates on our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.